Hello everyone and welcome back to Harvest Moon Magical Melody. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to play in between episodes like I had been hoping to kind of improve and move things around. Uh, but you know, I figure why not do that stuff on camera that way it's something different. What is... Oh. Oh, that's right. Chicken. We have a new chicken. Oh, I need twice as much chicken feed. It's another mouth to feed. Uh, I think we had Terra, so I'm gonna go with Celeste. And then that'll, well, yeah, that'll probably take us out of Final Fantasy VI. We'll move on to other Final Fantasies for, for names. Oh, that's right, I was gonna buy a cow too. I think I want to move things around more? Okay. Hello, pig. And Pupperton. How's my, how's my bag looking? Yeah, we're good. We got a mushroom. Oh, we need a, I need a sickle. Let's, uh, let's swap that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I mean, because basically all this came back to the fact that I can't upgrade my house because there's just simply not enough room. On the bright side, we should we should make some money today. I'm wondering if I should save some of this to make food so I don't have to keep fishing to get it. Oh, did I check the restaurant and see if it actually works like the restaurant in a lot of other Harvest Moon games? I don't think I did. Alright, we're gonna get all the, the pain in the butt ones. Does that? I'm trying to think of like major bugs from later Harvest Moon Story Seasons games. Cause I want to say it was right around here where they started to get like far less buggy. But I don't know if that's true. I haven't done the legwork. To say for sure. I wish there's a way to easily move plants. It's it's bothering me that these fields are such a mess. Three twenty. That's that is good money. Oh, I also learned, uh, Jamie, apparently Jamie's shipping scales with you, which makes sense, but that just, you know, that's just going to make it even sweeter when we, uh, have a better, have a better farm than her. Do I want to water now or do I want to do it later when it'll probably cost me less stamina? I think I'm just, I just want to get it out of the way. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like the, uh, the festivals in a lot of Harvest Moon games. Because in so many of them, you get to a point where the, fe the festivals are just too easy to win. Which, on the one hand, is fine. Mm. You know, I don't exactly play Harvest Moon to, like, test every aspect of myself mm. as a gamer. 
sort of thing. Um. But there it does get it, it to a point where you realize that, like, oh, I'm gonna win this festival every year forever. So the fact that Jamie scales with you, I don't think, is necessarily a bad thing. That was probably a gigantic waste of stamina. Okay, let's go check on our livestock. Yes, I did. Okay. If you make videos long enough, I don't know, maybe it's probably just a me thing, where I, there's so many times where I've forgotten to hit record. Do I need to feed you? I don't know. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to feed you. Um, that now I just live in constant fear of not hitting the record button. I don't know if I need to feed you yet. So, I'm going to leave that there and hope that you'll eat it if you're supposed to. I was interesting in Animal Parade, I finally figured out that your animals... ...will, like, only eat from certain bins unless theirs is empty. The, there, there it is. Right next, right next to it. I don't know why I couldn't find that. Man, every time I get milk, I keep thinking to myself, this is not worth all that much. Which, again, I'm, I'm fine with. I felt like the first Harvest Moon, like, animals were just crazy overpowered. <laughs> You got like, oh, I swear it's like around 6,000 per day from a barn full of cows giving like the highest quality milk, which is not that hard to do. All right, should I go fishing or should I start mo trying to move things around? Because I believe what I was going to do, I was going to move the barn over the barn in the coop. I was going to move over here. Yeah, this is, this is all mine now. And the land's not very good, but it is, it's very spacious. Right, I'll see how much it is to move that barn and whether or not I regret uh, relocation. Okay, so let's move. Oh, it's only 500 gold. That's actually not bad. No, that's wrong thing. It's 700 gold. No, I don't want to, like, I don't want to move it there. I want to, I want to move it to a different prop. Can I not do that? Oh, no. Why? What? That, what is even the point of that then? Can I just lie to it? The spot. I'm I'm so confused by that. Okay. Oh, I can only face one. Okay. So I don't think I quite. I think I want to put it with some space. Maybe like right here. Oh, but I can fence it in. I can put some grass there. I bet I could even like let them outside. Yeah, do it. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, so you just have to you just have to lie to the game basically. There's one main home and the cottage. When you want to modify the home you're living in, choose your model. I don't understand why it even asks you. Oh, I I 
think I see what it's, it's trying to say. Oh, I can't do anything else. Like, when it asks this property, it's not saying, do you want it on this square of land? It's saying, do you want this building? Which is weird, but I guess if you have, like, multiple barns and coops, I, I could see that kind of making sense. Because I don't, and I imagine most people the first time probably don't either. I just wasn't in that mindset. But I, I get it now. And then we're going to move our house over. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Theodore. Now, since on TV, check them out for all the latest local news. No. What I'm going to do is not do that. Oh, there's Eva's down there. Getting farther away. Hold on. I'm coming. This way I don't have to come see you later to give you a mushroom. Uh, there you are. I like people who are positive about everything. <laughs> that's, that's definitely me. How are we, how are we doing on getting people to like us specifically two hearts I don't remember if that's where we were or not but I'm calling that a win oh that's right I was trying to befriend Martha and I wanted to send ship more herbs And check the restaurant. Can I just like straight up buy stuff? Is that better? There's a doggo. I'd forgotten yeah. about the doggo. So let's see. What do we get for say? Veggie juice. How much stamina do I get for, like, say, sunny side up? What's that, like a quarter of the bar? I don't think that's quite. Eh, it's maybe on, on, on par with fishing. But, like, say, a tomato dish, because tomatoes are only 150. Is that, like, is it better to go that route and just make something out of my tomatoes? I don't know that I have a recipe for them. So I don't, do I, I don't own all that. I only own this. I could have, I, oh, I guess I could have bought this. I don't remember that being an option though. So maybe I couldn't have. I'm assuming you can't buy land where someone else will eventually move in. That'd be interesting. You have this like absolutely perfect spot. There's like a ton of land. It's all good quality soil. And if you move there though, then someone else won't move in and it's like the best character in the game. Like, I'm thinking all the ways they could, like, try to make entice you to not want to buy that land. And I'm like, oh, it'll be like an NPC that you make at the beginning of the game. You, like, pick their looks, you give them their personality, and then it's like, all right, you want them to live, to come move to Flowerbud Village? You can't buy this perfect piece of land. <laughs> I should not be a game designer. I would be horror. I would either be way too nice or way too mean.
Oh. Yeah, you never feel like talking. What else is new? What's up, Hank? That reminds me, at some point I want to go back and do another Detroit Become Human run. Hank is a character from that game, so that's just kind of where my mind went. Hi. That's for a game that I got for free, I I played a surprising amount of that. Alright, anything else I'd like to do? I don't think so. I think we'll go to bed. Oh, I was going to try to find a mushroom. I didn't see one. That's fine. They'll be back. I feel like that plot of land is going to be good for the house. And I'll just have that there. We are, I'm not even going to have like a little garden like I was thinking. I might do, I might do some other things. I don't know. I really dig the customization. It's, it's clunky. It's very clear that this was like their first attempt at it. Um, whoa, what? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> that freaks me out every time I do something with these guys. I'm like, oh my God, the police are <laughs> banging on my door. <laughs> the mafia's out here. All right, see you later. Uh, yeah, so you can kind of tell that this was like an early attempt at, at customization, but they also just tried so many things. Uh, so there, there just seems like there's maybe more customization than you can do in a lot of other games. Like even like later Harvest Moon Story Seasons games. Like story, story seasons in particular, I felt like was a little confused. Oh my god! I felt like it was a little confused with its customization as far as like what it wanted you to be able to do. Because you can do, you can make cool things like paths and put them on your farm, but like none of it really lines up very well. Oh, I didn't sell the, uh, the herbs. Like, the amount of spaces a piece of road, or, like, a piece of path takes up on your farm, versus, like, the amount of space that so many of the buildings take up, it just, none of it seems to really match. And so, uh, I just wasn't... Not that there aren't kind of interesting things you can do, but it, it feels very limited. Anything over here? Oh, there is. So, well, that's one of the reasons I'm excited for, like, uh, Pioneers of Olive Town. I keep forgetting the name. Uh, and yes, I will absolutely be playing that. In some capacity, whether it's a, probably probably a stream, um, but I I will post that here. I am I am way too excited. I'm I'm trying to find to get time off work. We kind of had uh, some uh, some some things have changed, um, so it just might not be might not be feasible. But I'll figure something out. Really, I'd really like to do what I did for Friends in Mineral Town uh, when the, the Switch release came out, where I took uh, I took like half a day the day it came out because I knew I wasn't sure if it was gonna come out like first thing at midnight, which I can't remember if it did or not, um, or if it was gonna be like a 1 p.m. release because that seems to be the two times they update the the eShop. So I did a half day of the day it came out and then I took the next 
I think day or day or two off. Um, so I'd like to do something similar for that. Because so far, everything I've seen I've liked. Um, I wasn't super enthused about the Bachelors and Bachelorettes. Or I should say, I didn't actually mind a lot of the, the Bachelors. I thought most of their designs were pretty pretty good. Um, I wasn't super impressed with the Bachelorettes. I liked the one girl that like seemingly everyone likes. I'm trying to think of her name. Reyna? What I was really excited for is it sounds like the DLC that they're doing for this is actually like DLC that expands upon the game. Because I remember being a little underwhelmed looking at the DLC for the story seasons in Trio of Towns. So I was glad that, that like if they're going to do it like provide something of value and it, it seems like they are. So I just, I kind of hope they stick with that. What did I, what? Am I not supposed to milk you from the front? Is that like farmer lesson number one? Don't milk the front of the cow. I'm so confused. Am I like upsetting the Makoto every time I do that? Perfect mood. So where's the freaking? Where's the the milk? I can't push you out of the way. I don't know. I don't know. I have no ideas. Ooh. Also, very little stamina. Alright, good enough. Let's see if we can find some mushrooms on our way to go relocate the barn. See the chickens, if the chickens don't give eggs, I can at least understand that. I'm completely baffled as to why I did not get any milk. Uh, so question of the day, are you excited for uh, the new Story Seasons game? Can't remember if I've asked that one or not. If if not, then let's go with that. I'm, I'm curious to know. Uh, who's planning to pick it up? Or if you're planning to wait to see how it is. Uh, hey, Joe. Life is good. I'm really, I'm not talking to you because I care about, you know, anything you're doing. I'm really only doing it for the, the sweet, sweet friendship points. I don't actually want to be friends. I just want the game to think that we're friends. Oh, we can crush these people. Well, that one guy's name's Dan. I don't remember the other one. should be good. That gives us some room. Maybe maybe one more over. There we go. That should give us enough room to expand. I am interested to see if I'll ever end up putting animals outside. I almost never do. It, de it depends on the game and how well it's done. Like, uh, Animal Parade was pretty easy even though I don't know how helpful it was. 
Uh, the first story seasons, never. It just never seemed worth it. <sighs> Picking up that egg was exhausting. <laughs> So Animal Parade wasn't super helpful, but that was fine. Story Seasons, no way. Story Seasons Tree of Towns, absolutely, because otherwise it got freaking it's expensive. Hello, townspeople that I forget about. Uh, Nina. Going to the sea and lake between work is a good diversion. I swear the first time that I pass out from picking something up, I'm pro I'm pro I'm gonna be pretty upset about that. Just being up front. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try not to do that. Are you interested in plants? Sure. Probably not as much as you are, though. Alright, what's, uh... Oh, this is the library. Still haven't quite gotten the hang of the... How did you get here? <laughs> I just saw you! What's up, Maria? <laughs> It'll probably be difficult alone, but please do your best. Uh, Maria, I'm I'm concerned. Yeah. Our friend Basil here is not the real Basil. I'm doing a, a D and D campaign. Where that was a theme. So now I'm on edge. <laughs> What's up? Uh, you say the same thing. I'm hoping I get points for talking to people. It seems like it, because I haven't given gifts to a lot of people and I still have hearts with them. That's the mine. We don't want to go to the mine. We want the bar. Speaking of bar, I should have gotten myself a beverage before starting this. Let's go say hi to Jamie. <laughs> Do the best you can. It sounds encouraging, but I know it's not meant to be. Eh. Oh wait, I'll, uh, I'll go talk to this. Grab this. What's up? Is it Dan? <laughs> that noise! I'm tired of this. I wonder how I can rake in some easy money. Work. I know a farm. They'll pay you 60, 62 gold a day. Oh. What are the, what are the minimum wage laws in Flower Bud Village? Yo. Hi. Also like, how much, how much is a single gold? I came to this village wanting to take my grandpa back to town, but he says he doesn't like the idea. Okay.
Yeah, so like, is it is it like Dungeons and Dragons where like one gold piece is like what most people make in a year? God, I would hope not. I, I can't imagine it's quite that extreme. Let's go to sleep. I know this is cutting it kind of short. Um, that just seems like a good place to leave it. I don't know that I necessarily am able to do another another day. But we got thing, we started getting things moved. We'll move the house in the next episode, and we'll get the the house remodeled in the next episode. I think that's good good progress. We're getting there slowly but surely. Um. So yeah, let me know how you guys are enjoying the series in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.